Welcome back, everybody, to the office of Silver Surf Wax. We haven't shown the office off yet. So I thought I would try something a little bit new and a little bit different for y'all. Um, I wanted to see if I could do justice to explaining uh, cryptocurrencies and Bitcoin. And I've been trying to get a uh, buddy of mine kind of involved or at least, you know, uh, it, you know, explain uh, cryptocurrencies and Bitcoin for a couple of years. He's a gold and silver person as well. He just really never kind of got it. And uh, I ended up uh, coming up with a alternate explanation that really uh, resonated with him. And he kind of just got it. And maybe he's a little more open because, as you know, Bitcoin is going crazy these days. Uh, current as we speak, Bitcoin's at $34,000 a, a coin. Um, back when I, I uh, got involved in Bitcoin, um, it was uh, below a uh, the price of a gold coin. Now, for a single Bitcoin, uh, you could you could get fifteen fifteen gold coins for one Bitcoin. Uh, that's pretty that's pretty nuts uh, to me. It's kind of crazy. Um, so actually, sixteen sixteen gold coins, sixteen ounces of gold for one Bitcoin. And, uh, you know, trying to sort of explain that value in terms of, of actual, uh, of Bitcoin. Sometimes, you know, it, it, uh, gets lost in translation because people are just focused on the money. So what I thought I would do is, uh, demonstrate or show a, uh, a, uh, a coin. Look at that. I just mined a new coin right there. I'll explain that in a second. I thought I'd use a cryptocurrency that you can't even buy. You can't even go on to an exchange or go and buy somewhere. There's a blockchain out there called MarsCoin, and it's it's somewhat of a defunct cryptocurrency. It's not defunct because the, the it exists, the, the, it's a network, it's on the blockchain, but nobody's using it. And uh, so as a result of nobody really using it and there being very few uh, uh, nodes on the network, I can set up on about six or seven laptops. I got seven laptops here. Believe it or not, I have 11 laptops total in the uh, house of Silver Surf Wax, which is kind of, uh, I know, a little bit extreme. But the, the, uh, the, the, the point of the matter is, is that I can, I can start to uh, participate in this particular cryptocurrency's uh, blockchain, and I end up receiving a reward, a mining reward of that cryptocurrency. Now that mining reward is worthless. Nobody would buy it from me, right? This, 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 nobody is paying for this cryptocurrency. There it is. I just mined another, every two and a half minutes, I end up, um, pretty much uh, getting a good shot at, at receiving a block reward, which would be very similar to something that's happening in Bitcoin, right? Every 10 minutes on Bitcoin, a new block reward or a new set of Bitcoins comes into existence. And the same amount is coming into, into existence as with this Mars coin, 6.25 uh, Bitcoin are being created every 10 minutes and on Mars coin, 6.25 Mars are being created every two and a half minutes. It's the Mars coin is a fork of Litecoin, which is a fork of Bitcoin. So it's very similar in terms of its its code, but it's using a different uh, cryptographic hash algorithm. Not that anyone needs to know that, because all you need to do to participate in this is download the you know go to the Mars Coin website they have like Mars Corn Mars Mars Coin dot org and you just go to that website you download this little piece of software you run it on your computer and it's going to use your processing power of your computer to uh, to uh, participate in the Mars Coin network now if I go to Task Manager on one of these computers I can kind of show you that the CPU is maxed out here, right? It's at 100%. Now, this is an older laptop, so it's not 
uh, even that powerful. So the fact that I'm even mining on a laptop, which is usually not recommended, I'm not using a GPU or an ASIC, I'm just doing CPU mining, which for most cryptocurrencies would be pathetic, you know, not recommended because uh, you just it wouldn't be profitable at all. But in this case, on this uh, somewhat defunct uh, cryptocurrency that still exists, you know, there's still nodes out there, I can participate and I'm actually, I've actually received, you know, 653 Mars uh, coins on this machine in not that long of a time, right? Now, it's pretty much worthless. So you can imagine the early Bitcoiners before Bitcoin, for a whole year, Bitcoin wasn't worth a thing right? Uh, the first transaction that somebody uh, bought a Bitcoin for, they, it was like 10,000 Bitcoins for a pizza. Somebody traded. It was across the country, like somebody in California and somebody in Florida. Somebody in Florida ordered a pizza for somebody in California, and he sent them uh, like 21,000 Bitcoins for the pizza because they were generally worthless, just like these Mars coins are generally worthless. So a lot of people have a hard time wrapping their sort of the head around the notion that Bitcoin, you know, was free or that Bitcoin was worthless or not really valued. But just like Mars coin is kind of worthless now, and I've got 653 here, and I've got 612 here, and I got 900 here, you know, Imagine if that was worth what a Bitcoin is worth now. Imagine if it was worth $34,000 uh, to each of these Mars coins. That would be fairly impressive, right, uh, in terms of value. But it's not. So you can imagine these early Bitcoiners, they didn't really, you know, have an, ever really fully think that it would turn out to what Bitcoin is today. And like I said... You can go and you can download. So I kind of wanted to illustrate like how this is done. So once you download, I, I freshly downloaded and installed Mars Coin on this machine. And what's happening right here is it's synchronizing with the network. Mars Coin's been around for seven years. So there's seven years of blockchain transactions. What does that mean? That means that when you have a blockchain, all the transactions are uh mathematically based on the p on the previous transaction that's what a blockchain is uh and so every 2.5 minutes uh for for this uh, cryptocurrency uh there's a new block which contains all of the transfers all of the all of the transactions that occurred from one machine to another and in fact i went on this machine and i i, pr I performed a transaction i went ahead and i transferred uh 10 uh, Mars coin. Let's see if I can find it here. Where did I, where did it go? Where did it go? Oh my goodness. Is it in there? Um, I would like to see where that went. Uh, you know what? It might have, it might have scrolled off. What I would, but what I did is on this laptop, which I call laptop Q, uh, laptop Q sent 10 Mars coins to Laptop J. And Laptop J, the way it sent it was in its particular address. And hopefully I can see in the, in the receive. Uh, no, darn it. it, it scrolled off. I'm gonna have to, here we go. Here's, here it is. I, did, I received a, some Mars coin. I received 10 Mars coin right here, right? Uh, and I, I put a little note in there that said pay me. And that was to this particular address. If you were to take that particular address, if you were to use Mars Coin yourself, download this thing, you could actually send me um, to that address some Mars Coin. If you went and mined yours for free and, and transferred it to there, you'd send Silver Surf Wax some Mars Coin to that address. So uh, that's kind of, it's kind of like email, right? You know, it's kind of like email. There's a, a public address. These are all public addresses, right? The, the Mars coin that I was I was sent is a public address, uh, like your email address. And then you have a private address, which is your your password, your 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 private key, as they'll say in cryptocurrency. So really all it is is a network of systems, 
a network of computers that are all running the same software and they're communicating to each other on the same IP address. So what I'm showing right here is the uh, different nodes that are the Mars coin nodes and, and Litecoin or Bitcoin is very similar setup where there's gonna be all these computers that are out there that are running the same piece of software and they're communicating amongst, them, amongst themselves to process the transactions which get put into the blocks from the memory pool and then and then keep adding on to the blockchain and then getting back to you know this this computer where i just installed uh the software it's downloading all of those uh, all of those blocks in fact it's downloading seven years of those blocks, which is about, it turns out about 20 gigs for this particular cryptocurrency. So on each of these computers, the whole blockchain will take about 20 gigs of, of space on the hard drive. And uh, then you can participate in, in, the, uh, in, the, in the blockchain. And so this is just kind of in my, uh, in my estimation, this ended up sort of uh, conceptually uh, making sense to, to someone who had not really got it before. They were able to visually see it. They were able to associate that with what's going on with Bitcoin and why is Bitcoin a thing. And it was also to demystify uh, Bitcoin a little bit because here it is, you know, you know, I got all these computers and they're generating, you know, this one's got 358 Mars coin, and this one's got 337 Mars coin, and this one's got 243 Mars coin. I'm rich in Mars coin, aren't I? Well, unfortunately, Mars coin isn't worth anything. So, you know, uh, and, and it's not on any of the exchanges. No one's buying it. No one's paying any money for Mars coin. But this was just kind of a little demonstration that I thought would be interesting and useful to describe the uh, early days of Bitcoin and how people just decided to mine Bitcoin for fun and because it was an interesting project and they thought it was compelling to have a decentralized uh, network, a, a decentralized cryptographic network of transactions. And then it became more and more recognized as something really impressive and they decided to have a value and people started trading those bitcoins and it went from a dollar to a hundred dollars to a thousand dollars to ten thousand dollars to twenty thousand and now it's over thirty thousand dollars per bitcoin imagine if the mars coin became thirty thousand a pop boy i would be in the money i'd be a, a multi-millionaire of mars coin so you know feel free to go download the mars coin client and try this out for yourself. You can run this piece of software on your network uh, and uh, or on your home computer and possibly, you know, uh, generate some Mars coin for yourself. And that should give you a little bit of an idea of what's going on with this Bitcoin craze and Ethereum, because Ethereum's crazy. Last year, uh, you know, I I bought a bunch of Ethereum for $165. It's worth $1,000 now. I think it's ridiculous. The, the transaction fees on Ethereum are too high. That's not really how this Ethereum network is supposed to work, in my opinion. But, you know, it is what it is. You know, supply and demand and people are are crazy for crypto right now. And, uh, and uh, guess what? You know, you can buy gold and silver with some of these cryptocurrencies i have i probably should do a video uh, and please let me know in the comments down below if you'd like to see something like this i've bought gold and silver with cryptocurrencies paid paid with crypto and it my transaction occurs immediately and so I don't have to send them a check. They don't have to verify my credit card. I send them the crypto and they, they, they ship me out the gold and silver. So this is absolutely possible. It's absolutely real. I've done it. I've, I've traded cryptocurrency that I bought for cheap uh, for physical gold and silver, you know, in my pocket. So uh, pretty, pretty cool stuff. Thought I'd, uh, hopefully you found this interesting. I don't know that many of the uh, gold and silver community find that cryptocurrency is compelling. 
my background is in IT and uh, I was a previous firewall uh, and network security instructor. So I kind of understand a little bit of the cryptography and how that's based upon. Not that I'm any cryptographic expert, but at least I, I, I would teach people the concepts of, of the cryptography that, that these cryptocurrencies are based upon and why that is just as secure as what you're using when you do a credit card transaction or you do a transaction um, or you log into your, your bank and uh, on your bank on your banking website and you put in your password, they're using the same crypto cryptography that you're using in, in Bitcoin. And uh, uh, for, for, for uh, so it's pretty secure, pretty secure stuff. You know, the whole Diffie Hellman uh, asymmetric key exchange process. So anyway, guys, I thought this might be interesting to you, a little bit uh, deviating from my normal uh, program, but because the cryptocurrency is so exciting right now and, uh, and I have a feeling that we're in a bull run on crypto, I think for the remainder of 2021, we'll probably see some real exciting times and a lot of uh, cryptocurrency in the news. So uh, hope you enjoyed that. Uh, feel free to uh, like, comment, and subscribe and do all that good stuff. We're on the road to a 1,000 subscribers for my tiny little YouTube channel and uh, going into 2021. All right, let's make it a good one. Thanks, guys. Bye. Ha, ha, ha.